everyone, my name is Cassie and I'm here today to tell you guys my craziest story ever. Just kidding. It's crazy to think that this isn't my craziest story ever, which is weird because, I mean, I got attacked by a bear. Growing up, I was always a very adventurous kid, very into climbing trees, playing in the dirt, running around the neighborhood, just very adventurous, okay? One day we decide we're going to take a trip up to our cabin in the Rocky Mountains. I was about nine years old and I decided to bring a friend along with me. We get to the cabin, everything goes great, we unpack, we are settling in and my parents start to make dinner. Well, I decide that Cassie wants to go on an adventure in the forest. <laughs> so that's what we did. <laughs> my friend and I walk about five minutes away from our cabin and I find this giant, giant pile of sand and dirt and logs and sticks. But besides the natural things, I also found some unnatural things. A lot of unnatural things. I found bones. I just found so many bones. Along with being very athletic, very tomboyish, and very adventurous, I was also a very weird child, and I still am very weird today. The weird child in me saw all of these bones in a big pile, and I turned to my friend and said, wow, look at all these bones. You know what we should do? Walk away? No, not walk away, not, not not play with the bones. We should take every single bone, identify which animals they are, and then decide which bones go to what animal. So that is what we do. We start digging through the bones and throwing them in a giant pile trying to figure out which bones belong to which animal. We start doing this for about five minutes and after five minutes, I see movement out of the corner of my eye. So I look and I see nothing. And I said to my friend, did you see that? She said, see what? I said, I don't know, Never mind. <laughs> Another five minutes go by and I see more movement out of the corner of my eye. And I said to my friend, did you see at that time? And she said, yeah, I saw movement. We're in a forest, like there's movement. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> it's probably a squirrel. Spoilers, it wasn't a squirrel. <laughs> so I'm digging through this pile and the other pile where we're throwing all the bones is about five feet away. And I throw the bone and it lands and I see some fur. And I look up and there are two baby cubs, bear cubs, standing five feet away from us. And we didn't know what to do. <laughs> we just kind of sat there. <laughs> so we did the normal thing that you do in a situation like that. No, not run away. We went... Shoo! <laughs> go, go, go! Shoo! <laughs> Run along! <laughs> and they did. They were kind of almost like observing us and then went along their way or ran back to wherever they ran to. I, I don't even remember like talking that much about it. I was just like, whoa, that was weird. And then we went back to our digging in the bones. Like, where was the common sense? Like, where was the common sense? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still not sure where it is. <laughs> Another five minutes go by and we're still digging through the pile, being weird little children, and I pick up a bone and as soon as I pick it up and I stand straight, I hear this behind my back. <sighs> and my friend hears it too because we both look at each other and then slowly turn around to see a grown brown grizzly and her two baby cubs behind her standing there right in front of us we both stand there in complete shock and fear frozen not being able to move on top of this pile and this mom was not having it she then proceeded to get up and stand on her two legs and growl at us like this just doesn't happen. Like, this just does not happen to people. Like, why does this happen to me? This bear is now 10 feet tall, grown mama grizzly with her two cubs behind her. And she was upset that we were in her territory and that we were messing with her cubs. And she wanted nothing of it. So what do you do in that situation? Do you get bigger than it? Do you scream at it? Do you make loud noises? By the way, which we were wearing whistles around our necks because of the case of us running into a bear. We didn't even think to use the whistles. So what do you do in a situation like that? I'll tell you what Cassie does. <laughs> Cassie takes the bone that is in her hand and proceeds to throw it 
and hit the grown grizzly bear in the nose. <laughs> Again, where was the common sense? I don't know. The bear then proceeds to growl at the top of her lungs at us. And we both turn around and run in a dead sprint towards the cabin. I do not know what went on behind me. I don't know if they turned around and mind their own business. I don't know if it chased us. I have no idea because I didn't care. <laughs> I just sprinted and my friend sprinted too. And as we arrived at the cabin, I'm almost 100% positive my family still doesn't believe me to this day. <laughs> they looked at me like I was crazy, like this never happened. And normally... I would think that I am crazy and that maybe this didn't happen, but I had a witness, people. <laughs> I had a witness. That's what's great when I have witnesses to prove that I'm not so insane that this stuff actually happens to me. You guys should let me know down in the comment section below if you've had any weird bear experience. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> because I'm the only person that would happen to. Am I right? All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Be sure to leave a like if you like the video. Those are guns. <laughs> we don't want guns. Unless unless you see a bear, then a gun would be useful, <laughs> not a bone. <laughs> also, leave me comments because I'm very, very lonely. That, that's it. I'm just really lonely. Love you guys, and I'll see you next video.